I want to take you back now to our lead story, the chaos engulfing these health care forums that we've been telling you about. These town hall meetings are a cornerstone of a plan by Democrats to try and sell reform to the public over the upcoming congressional recess. Now, many planned events are being canceled, and you heard the accusation aired right here. The disruptions are planned, they are funded, they are scripted as part of a high-stakes corporate and political effort to kill reform of the nation's health care system. That's what Eric Bollett of Media Matters was pointing out. That's, why in some, that's what in some measure as well the White House is saying. I mean, it's a serious accusation. Joining us now from New York, a man who finds himself in the middle of all of this, he is a former health care executive, Rick Scott, chairman of the group Conservative for Patients' Rights. Good afternoon, Mr. Scott. How are you doing? I'm fine. Listen, I want you to listen to what Robert Gibbs said uh, just two days ago uh, while we were airing it here at 3 o'clock on CNN. And, and I, I got the sense that he was talking about you, but let's listen to it together first. I think what you've seen is uh, they have uh, they have bragged about, uh, about manufacturing to some degree that anger. To uh, uh, I think you've got somebody who's... Uh, very involved, uh, a leader of that group that's very involved in, in the status quo, a CEO that used to run a health care company that was fined by the federal government $1.7 billion for fraud. Uh, I think that's a lot of what you need to know about the, the motives of, uh, of that group. It, it sure looks to me like he's pointing his finger right at you. Do you think he is? I think he was. Yeah, yeah. Um, do, you, do you take credit? I was just having a conversation with Eric Bollert, and I said, look, this guy has uh, got this website. In fact, I'll show it to the viewers again. There's your website right there. We'll take it all the way to the very top. People can see it. It's uh, CPR, Conservatives for uh, Patients' Rights. And there you tell people where they can go to these town hall meetings. You tell them what they can do. You show them videos of what's been done uh, so far. Uh, some people have used the word orchestrated. I'm not sure what word you would use, but do you take credit for making sure this is going on? At, uh, it, it'd be nice to, right? But because uh, I, I believe that people ought to show up to these meetings, they ought to be nicer about it. But they ought to show up to these meetings and tell what they think. I think they ought to show up, whatever side you're on. You ought to let let people know. I mean, we're going through a significant debate about what ought to happen in healthcare. Show up and tell them what you but, think. But you you're, but you're, but, 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 but let's be fair about this. You're not trying to get everybody to go. You're trying to gin up the people who are going to be on your side. I mean, you you got a lot to gain from this, don't you? Well, I believe, I, I clearly believe that government-run health care will be bad for you as a patient. It will be bad for you as a taxpayer. It will be bad for our country. But most importantly, it will be bad for you as a patient. Now, would I rather people show up that care about the debate on the way I believe? Absolutely. But when I'm on radio, I'm on Lot of Talk Radio, I say, uh -huh. show up, read the bill. But, but you know, let's, let's talk about this, though. I mean, the accusation that the White House uh, was essentially making, one that you haven't challenged yet to my knowledge maybe you will hear now uh columbia hospital corporation which you founded which Absolutely. later became hca which made you from my understanding incredibly wealthy was charged with defrauding the government for more than a decade and had to pay a record fine of 1.7 billion dollars i mean some would argue and it would be hard to say they're wrong that you would be the poster child for everything that's wrong with the greed that has hurt our current health care system. People would ask, why should they listen to you? Well, you, you don't have to listen to me. You should look at the facts. You should read the bills. Now, if you want to go back and look at Columbia HCA, you should love what we accomplished. One, health care costs when I got into the industry in 88 were 16 percent a year inflation. When I got out in 1997, they're less than 1 percent. We had the highest patient satisfaction. We had the best outcomes. Now, if you were in the hospital business in the late 80s, you went through Medicare investigations. President Clinton expanded the investigations. They said if you made a mistake in your filing, that was called fraud. Not only did my but own company, 7, HCA, But 1.7 billion, that's the highest ever paid in the history of the United States that your company ended up having to pay as a result of what you did by defrauding the government. The, the, no one went to jail. I was never accused of anything. Now, let's think about it. $1.7 billion sounds like a lot. We had 343, pay, 343 hospitals, 150 surgery centers, over 100,000 patients a, a day. Now, let's, let's look at the industry. 
The Cleveland Clinic paid big fines. Mayo paid big fines. Yale paid big fines. Now, were they as big? No. But how many hospitals did they have? But you're the guy who's sitting here telling us that we can't allow the government to do this because it won't work and they might take over or do some things that are, that are wrong. How much more wrong can you be than what you just said? Not only is Don't... your company screwed up and you just admitted to it, but you're saying, and look at all the other companies, they did the same thing. No, I don't believe that at all. It doesn't sound I to believe... me like a sterling system that we have, does it? I think you, that's right. You ought to fix the system. You ought to say, why do we have 135,000 pages of Medicare regulations that people work their tail off? The hospital industry to this day works its tail off to do the right thing. But don't believe me. Read the bill. Decide, do you want your taxes to go up? Do you want a UK system? Do you want a Canadian system? Some people that's would answer, yes, do. they do. As a matter of fact, in Canada, uh, I think they pay one half of what Americans pay for health care. Uh, and uh, most of them are proud as pudding of their health care system. They write me here every day saying, I can't believe Americans don't like our system. We think it's absolutely fantastic. By the way, let me ask you a question. Your mm -hmm. company was accused of something called upcoding. That means they treated patients for something minor, but charged the government, the taxpayers, for something expensive. Um, I have Rick, that, that, that was no the accusation. Idea. Is that true? Rick, Rick, I have no idea. I, was, I never did anything with Medicare. I started a company. I bought hospitals. I bought HCA. I bought all the Humana hospitals. All right, well, let, me ask you, back to, let me ask you this one then. Here's, here's the other accusation. As I was reading about what some people say your company may have been involved in. Your company would go into a region. They would buy up all the hospitals. And then they would shut them all down except for one to make that one hospital very powerful. I mean, I guess that's a good business plan, but is that good for patients? Absolutely. Now, first off, that didn't happen. We did buy 20 hospitals that we consolidated. It goes on every day and not every day. It goes on throughout the country all the time. It's happened since before I got in the business and afterwards. But here's the reason why you want that to happen as a patient. Okay. You want to make sure, you want to make sure that your hospital has the best equipment. So if you have a hospital that has more patients and can afford the best equipment, you want your hospital to be successful. They can have the right equipment. They can hire but, the right employees. Well, Absolutely. I'm reading a report here, though, from the Post and Courier that says uh, they say your hospitals had consistent, dirty facilities. The doctors say the gloves they were asked to use to operate were so cheap they would break. And nurses say they had to treat so many patients they weren't able to handle the demand. Well, let's, let's look at the numbers. How could I have the lowest cost to a patient, I did, you look at the studies, I had better patient satisfaction than the industry by a long shot, and I had better outcomes because we measured everything. So, so who probably put that out? No different than what's happening today. Unions put these things out because they want to unionize your hospitals. But if you look at the facts, yeah. lower prices, better outcomes, better patient satisfaction. But you're not saying all of these things are true. I mean, you're, you're copying to the fact that your company had to pay $1.7 billion, which is still the most ever paid in the history of the United States, right? When, after I left, the company paid those fines. The pay, company did not pay those fines when I was there. But hold on. And I bought... No, and I no, bought no, no, you're, wait, play, wait. you're playing with the facts, sir. Let me tell you what no. happened. These charges were charged against your company while you were there, while you were the boss, and it happened over a period of 10 years. Yes, they were paid after you left, but, the accused, but they accused them of happening while you were leading the company. You and know they that. And, Rick, they, it was... It, it covered time frames before I bought those companies, and it uh -huh. covered time frames afterwards. I guess the point I'm making is, though, look, people are going to look at you as the guy who's telling all these people out there, which is your right as an American, and good for them for wanting to get out there and, and have a point of view and be passionate about their money and their tax money. That's but right. some people are going to look at your record and some of the things that you and I just talked about and say, this is the guy who's leading this charge? Is he the one that we should be listening to? Not exactly a perfect past when it comes to what's right for taxpayers and patients. Absolutely. If you care about patient satisfaction, if you care about cost, if you care about quality, you absolutely do. All right, Rick Scott. You know what? Thank you, sir, for taking the heat and taking the questions. We appreciate having you on. All right, thank you. All right, Rick Scott.